are the classic game of Jenga. Today, I'm going to share with you five Kelsey games that you can play with one Jenga. They are the getting to know you or rapport building game, a self-esteem game, a coping skill game, a social skills game, and an anger management game. So welcome to my channel. It's the Counseling Fanny Pack of Fun YouTube channel for my Teacher Pay Teacher store if you, by the same name, Counseling Fanny Pack of Fun. So this game is available in my store and all five games are included in my book, The School Psychs Handbook for the Best School Year Ever. My name is Susie and I'm a school psychologist for the past 15 years. I've been creating my own counseling games for maybe the past six years and I've been selling them on Teacher Pay Teacher since 2020. The goal of my channel and all of my games that I'm talking about how to play is just to help counselors feel more confident and to have lots of activities and fun, engaging things to do with their students in the counseling session. I know sometimes purchasing games can be pretty pricey and because all of these games are digital downloads, they're super affordable. So let's learn about the game. So to play the game, first you have to buy a Jenga or imitation Jenga. Shh, I won't tell anybody. The one in my office is imitation. I don't know, it's just called tumbling towers or something. This is my uh, my own kids version. I'm, I'm at my house, so I'm borrowing their game. And number one to 30, and this will work for all five games. So all the students do is pull out a piece. This one's blank because I haven't numbered it, right? It's at my house. And it'll have a number on it. Some will be blank, that's fine. But the rest will have numbers one through 30. And then depending on the topic that you're counseling the students on, or, or if you're building rapport with your students, you read the question. So let's say it's number five for the rapport building game. So number five is, what is your favorite movie? Right, kids love movies. Hopefully they'll be able to answer that question. It's all about getting them to feel comfortable with you and a little bit more personable and showing them that counseling is fun. It's not just talking about all your bad behaviors. There's lots of games and fun activities that you can do in counseling. So that's what we wanna show our students that when they come to counseling, they come see you, they're gonna learn some things about their behavior or about making friends, but they're also gonna have fun while learning those important skills. So some of the other questions in my rapport building Jenga include, I like this one a lot. If you won a million dollars, what would you buy? Um, of course, as a counselor, I also pull numbers uh, so I can play with them, especially if it's individual counseling because I want them to get to know me a little bit. So, you know, I'll share, oh, I have a dog too and his name's, I don't really have a dog, so I can't think of a name. But what, I'll give you one or two more questions that I do have in that rapport building game. Another question I have in the rapport building game is if you were a cartoon character, who would you be? I always say Moana because I like sailing and she sails and she's like associated with Disney. So I'm thinking she gets to go to Disneyland a lot and she lives on a tropical island. So that's me. But all these questions are hopefully a little bit fun for your students and also informational so that you can kind of, you know, get them used to talking to you and sharing information about themselves with you so that when you get into that deeper conversation or discussion about what's going on with them, they feel comfortable to talk to you. So included in my Jenga game are four other games, like I was saying. So one is for self-esteem. So I have questions related to um, feeling more confident, asking the student what they're good at, and kind of getting them to think about positive thoughts and you know what makes them a good friend, what subjects are they good at. So let me give you one or two questions from my self-esteem game. One is if you were a superhero, 
who would you be? Another question is, what two things that aren't in school are you good at? So my goal with the self-esteem game is really just to get students to think about what they're good at and help them build more confidence when playing the game with you. The next game I have that's also a Jenga version is a social skills game. So in this game, I have students pull a Jenga piece and then uh, one, one prompt might be give the student to your right a compliment or what qualities make a good friend. Um, another question is pretend the student on your left is new and you don't know them and practice introducing yourself for the first time. So kind of just those uh, social skills, conversational skills type questions and prompts to get the students to practice social skills. I also have a coping skills version of this cool Jenga game. And some questions that might be in that one, if you're wondering, are what food puts you in a good mood? Another question in the coping skills version of my Jenga game is share a time that you used a coping skill when feeling frustrated in school. So hopefully these questions will get your students to engage in a discussion about thinking about coping skills when they have used them and teaching them what coping skills are so that they can use them in the future. And the final version of my Jenga game is anger management. Ding, ding, ding. Yes, I love helping students with anger management. So in this version of the game, the questions are focused around calming strategies, making good choices if they feel angry or frustrated, and thinking about how their anger affects their body and what some of their triggers are. And that's how you use one Jenga for five games. I wanna thank you for watching this video today and the links to the Jenga game are below and the link for the School Psychs Handbook for the best school year ever is also below. And please leave a comment if, you know, questions if you have anything about this game. And if you like this video, please like it. And if you want more of these videos on how to use these games that I have in my Teacher Pay Teacher store, Counseling Fanny Pack of Fun, please subscribe. Thank you.